caution of the day. It involves the 18 of Harrison Burton. And boy, when you are racing at Talladega, you're bunched up, and that can create some issues. Looks like these trucks just go out and get wadded up. You can see Matt Crafton, for some reason, maybe a little bit of bump from Burton, and Burton backs out, and Tyler Ancrum in the 17th was right on the back of Burton, and around he goes. We saw that move by the outside line really had some, some momentum. You see, they've already pulled down in front there, and then they just got a little bit jumbled up. That probably cost that inside line some speed and uh, just a bit of a chain reaction situation here. How about the view from Austin Hill's truck? Man, you're just hoping. The time. The 0-2 of Tyler Dipple bringing out the caution. Looks like he got into the outside wall, obviously in the middle of some heavy traffic. Now he's gotten into the inside wall. Tyler Dipple involved in an accident at Daytona as well. The super speedways have not been his friend. Was running 19th at the time. You know there was contact from another truck that started this. Now whether it was the other trucks or Dipple's fault, we'll try to get a better look and make that call. Like maybe Timothy Peters in that 87 they gave got, Dipple a nudge. Got together, but I don't know if Dipple was coming down or Peters was going up. Or, or Peters was trying to help him. It could have been a situation that he was just trying to help him do a little, little bump drafting and it uh, it went awry. We talked about damage on one of those trucks that was a black truck. It's the A truck of John Hunter Nemechek that has a lot of damage to the front end of that truck as we see Dipple again into the outside wall. So unfortunate for Tyler Dipple. Dipple is one of those that had the engine expired. He is now out of touch with his lead pack here. Caution's out. And there is the caution. That's what Brett Moffitt needed. Anthony Alfredo looks like he cut down a left rear tire. Now Brett Moffitt will get the free pass. Boy, what a break for Moffitt. But Friesen will be a lap down. Along with Tyler Ankrum. So Brett Moffin gets the free pass. Ankrum and Friesen, championship contenders, will continue racing a lap down. Both of them have Friesen suffered two penalties, one for locking, penalized along with Moffitt for locking bumpers, and then Friesen was penalized for speeding, and Ankrum was penalized for speeding as well. But Moffitt gets back on the lead lap and will have a shot here with 13 to go. What about CMR roofing construction? They, they got on that truck and all they do is lead races and get TV time. <laughs> and but win most of the time with it. <laughs> One, two of them. I mean, just, just a great partnership for that 24 truck and that team. Can't say enough about what. It's crazy though, it's, it's all falling apart in this race. They are right up front. One, two, three. And now. Well, that's a shame for Anthony Alfredo. He had a good day going. Done a nice job. 98. Pretty good pack lined up in the outside. Look at Stuart Friesen go. He's going by Ankrum now, following Johnny Sauter. He's got Moffitt right with him. Boy, a lot of energy in this pack. And there's Brett Moffitt in the 24. There it goes. Oh, and there's a collection into the wall and through the grass on the bottom. I would be shocked if it weren't Ross Chastain. And there he is. Trying to block like we talked about. Timothy Robo Peters. And Timothy Peters involved. Hard contact to the front of Timothy Peters' truck. I think Stuart Friesen had got the best of Ankrum, Alfredo, and maybe in that free pass position. Brian Doza in the 28. Uh, we saw Natalie Decker in the 54. Ross Chastain. What a heartbreaker for Chastain to suffer that damage. We'll see what happened, but it has all the looks of trying to block on wrong. The trucks are going to be stopped in turn three while the repairs or the uh, wow. salvage is taken care of as Clay Greenfield's truck. You see Chastain climbing out of his truck, and uh, we saw that 68 of Clay Greenfield.
on the, on track as well. Or Ross. On pit road after some heavy damage. Ross outside the truck surveying it. And man, what what might have been. What a shuffle this is going to be for the playoff structure. You're right, Phil. This this flips everything. Puts Friesen back on the lead lap, I believe. Takes a guy that had a pretty good cushion and puts him right back on the bubble. Yeah. But Ross is a confident cat. You know, he's going to block. He's going to do everything he thinks it takes to win. If we don't win this week, we'll go get him next time in Martinsville. Well, Friesen, or excuse me, uh, Chastain was at the front along with Creed and Infinger. Todd Gilliland, Harrison Burton was in there as well. And uh, Chastain trying to protect the lead as you see his crew chief Phil Gould making that walk to the garage. And there he was, tried to come down and I think Sheldon Creed was there. No yeah. fault of Creed's. That's, that's what we've been talking about. It's just impossible with the way these trucks pull up to get over in time and Creed was committed. And Infinger just got collected by Chastain as well. Watch it from the view of Austin Hill. Nice job Austin Hill did to avoid that. There it was. It's a hard hit right Ouch. there. It happens so quickly. Sometimes that spot that's open, but by the time you actually go for it, it's not. Well, Sheldon Creed was going through the middle. He was going to try to get underneath Ross Chastain, and Ross realized that and started to turn down to try to block that move, and there just wasn't time, Michael, as we've been talking about. With his teammate Ben Rhodes, they're a little further back. Oh, oh no, and Justine is going around. Ooh, hard contact. A big hit for Gus Dean, and the caution is out. These trucks are so hard to handle, Phil, in a pack like that. If your truck just starts wandering up off the bottom at all, you can't turn the wheel enough once the air takes over to get it to go back toward the bottom. He just slipped up high. See what? the safety personnel running to his aid. You hate that for Gustine. He had such a strong run going today. running third at the time and I miss mean, as as good as it had been for for Gus and unfortunately that's as bad as it get as Wes Ward said it probably wasn't the last caution that we were going to have Tyler Ankrum will get the free pass so puts another one of our playoff contenders back on the lead lap and he's starting he'll restart about 14th Phil but that doesn't mean he can't finish in the top five well, because even though officially it says we have three laps to go, you never know how many we're going to end up running. <laughs> Remember, they ran, we made a comment earlier, they ran 11 extra laps at Daytona in overtime this season to start the year. We've run a number of caution laps, but remember Johnny Sauter pitted back on lap number 65. As we see Gus Dean getting out of that truck, that's a good sign. So, you know, we're... We've had enough caution laps that probably he has enough fuel, but he may have to stay on the uh, on the bottom of the racetrack, maybe down the apron on the on the pace laps, so that fuel doesn't run away from the pickup, which is in the right rear corner of the fuel cell. Looked like a little bit of a limp from Gus, but good to see him uh, walk to the ambulance under his own power. He'll go to the medical center to be checked out, and his truck will be put on the hook. And this will officially be overtime. Here at Talladega. The first overtime. You suggesting that there's a possibility that we may have more of this mayhem? A very, very <laughs> distinct possibility. Talk about the truck getting hard to drive. You can see how it, 
he's got a truck right on his back end, maybe a little bit of shove there, but I think that the front end was light on him. You know, he was already heading up that way, and that push into the back was just more than he could handle at that moment. That's Gilliland in Sam, the four. Sam kind of bouncing up the track, and then that, that, that push from Gilliland was just at the